All right, let's watch it. Here we go. This video is not a guide. Yes, it, all right, so I should use this as a guide. So you want to play a tank in an MMO. Very good choice. You're obviously someone of intelligence and vision because you've had the wisdom to realize that if you're going to waste your life in the most addictive kind of video game, yeah. you may as well go all the way. That's right, tanking isn't for everyone. You can't just pick daisies all day whilst watching reruns of Grey's Anatomy like a healer. Yes, you can. And I think that's the best thing about being a tank. Tanking is the best job in WoW, in like any MMO almost, because nobody ever criticizes you on your damage. And if you die, it's the healer's fault. Tanking is the easiest job in MMOs, like outside of like high-end gameplay, like super, super high-end gameplay. It's the easiest job, just for an average player it is. Or stand in the center of a nuclear explosion like a damage dealer, ticking your balls and laughing your ass off as you die. Yeah. Because at least you're topping the DPS meter. Fuck them. No, being a tank requires something more. Which begs the question, what makes you think that you have what it takes to play a tank in an MMO game? I'll save you the trouble. You don't have what it takes yet. And what you really need is the experienced advice of a skilled tanking veteran okay. who can guide you on your path. But they're not available right now, so you'll have to make do with me. Oh, okay. I promise this will absolutely be a serious take on tanking, and it should absolutely be taken seriously. Great, let's hear so it. So without further ado, let me tell you everything, just about, that you need to know if you want to become a tank in an MMO game. Number one, nothing is your fault. Nothing is your fault. Anything that happens is somebody else's fault. Now, to understand what it means to tank, you need to first be introduced to the Holy Trinity. Okay. And don't worry, I'm not about to start preaching to you like Pastor Dr. Martin Semper. And then they eat the poo poo. Ugh. What we're talking about here is the Trinity of DPS, healer, and yes, of course, tank. The rules are simple enemies hit hard. Too hard for your weakling mages and rogues to survive. True, because they Their suck. Their job as DPSs is to cause as much carnage as possible while taking absolutely no responsibility. And believe me, these people can't be trusted with anything other than hitting stuff as hard as possible. Yeah, that's I mean, a good thing. seriously, the wheel may still appear to be turning, but the hamster died a long time ago. Meanwhile, you, as the tank, have many responsibilities, but they all pretty much boil down to one simple thing. Hold aggro. You are tough enough to take those hits from the enemy yeah. and stay standing. It's that so simple. So that's your job. You tank the damage yeah. because you're hard, like a tank. Get it? To put it simply, have you ever seen those slap competitions on YouTube? You're basically one of those dudes. So, no like, th what is that? The slap competitions? I always see this. Like, it's like, so these guys, they just stand in front of each other and they just slap the shit out of each other? Dude, watch it. It's like boxing with slaps. Is it TOS? Yeah, if it's not, if it, is it TOS? I feel like... Yo. Yo. I would never, ever fuck with anybody that, like, competes in that shit, ever. Wait, what, what, what the f... What? What? This is, a, this is a little... I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. What the hell is going on? What What is this? It's a tank competition. Charlie watches it? Yeah, but I thought he does that for YouTube videos. If I can watch it on stream, I'll do it. Now, the final part of the Holy Trinity is the healer. Okay. But that role is pretty much self-explanatory. And at the end of the day, you're here because you want to become some Giga Chad tank. If you wanted True. to be a healer, you'd be looking up a video on how to get kicked in the bollocks a thousand times a day <laughs> without complaining That's about true. it. So now that you know what the tank role actually is, let's take a minute to talk about race. Are because pussies. in the MMO world, believing in racial equality could get you kicked. So throw that shit out the window. You gotta focus on what matters, right? Okay. Obviously, every game is different when it comes to which races will True. be available for you to choose from when making your character. Some games keep it pretty traditional and simple. In WoW, for example, you could pick a beefy Tauren or an Orc if you want to be a true Chad tank. Yeah. Or you could pick any alliance race if you're bad at the game. In Final Fantasy XIV, you could choose between various races with complicated names that I don't know how to pronounce. But that doesn't matter because there really is only one choice in that game. Generally, as a rule of thumb, you ought to pick the biggest, toughest race available to you. Yeah. Either to convey actual racial benefits if it's a more old school MMO, or simply to suggest that you know what the fuck you're doing. As I just mentioned, in some MMOs, you will get racial abilities or passive advantages depending on the role you want to pick. Okay. And usually for tanks, this lines up with the bulkier, less intellectual races. With a good example of this being in the original EverQuest, which allowed you to play as a Scottish person. 
which came with the significant advantage of being immune to frontal stuns, a natural consequence of existing on a diet of buckfast and ketamine. Man, is this really, like, is that really what's gonna happen? Like, that's some fucked up shit. Me smash. <laughs> that's some bullshit. Isn't that a bit racist? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Next thing to choose is your class, but again, this will differ depending on what you're playing, and it really doesn't matter. Pick what you like. Typically, I would suggest going with the guy who most closely resembles Havel the Rock, but that's just common sense. No, and you never do that. You w look it up on YouTube and figure out the best guide and the best thing to do, and do that. You don't want to- listen, this is an MMORPG. You don't want to have your own unique experience going through the world. You want to have somebody else figure it out for you and then tell you exactly what single, what little thing to do inside of every single step the whole way through, guys. Obviously. Again, every game offers different interesting options. So you could be everything from a knight to a bear to a dude dressed in a trench coat with a gun attached to a sword. Damn, that's actually fucking sick. Moving on then, I've you've chosen always, your race and class and it's time dumb. to start leveling. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs. Whatever game okay. you're playing, the solo experience whilst leveling is going to be easy and predictable, and much the same across every game you're playing. Yeah. With you running around different zones, exterminating the native wildlife like fucking Elmer Fudd. The fuck? Oh my god. You're not interested in any I wish of I had that a gun. Shit, That'd be though. cool to You're shoot a, a gun like that. After all. Your interest is in group content where you can show off and your EPing can grow harder than a fucking metapod. This is the environment in which your rare ability to get punched in the face multiple times without turning into a cabbage is highly sought after. Every group that you run content with and every dungeon is going to be different depending on what game you're playing or what class you're playing or who you're playing with. It's this actually not different at all. This guy's completely wrong. He has no fucking idea what he's talking about. Number one. So, tanking in every game is exactly the same. What you do is you round up all the mobs. And then the DPS kills all the mobs. If the mobs kill you, then it's the healer's fault. If the mobs kill the DPS, it's the DPS's fault. If you pull too many mobs, get a better healer. That's it. Tanking is the same in Everett, not in ESO. Yeah, well, nobody plays that, so who cares? So, like, I mean, in Final Fantasy and WoW and New World, well, I, actually, wait a second. Uh, nobody plays it yet. Yeah. Let's, let's scratch that. Um, but in Final Fantasy and WoW, like, that's pretty much the same. This video isn't about mechanics, and it isn't focused on one specific game. You need to be prepared for the fact that communities are different, too. In Final Fantasy XIV, you're likely to be warmly embraced by other players when running dungeons. Whereas in WoW, you can expect to be viciously beaten, racially abused, and generally treated like one of the drummers in Whiplash. And that's if you actually do a good job. But listen, not generally treated like what one the of the drummers in Whiplash. What the fuck? Where's the interrupt? Sorry, still learning mechanics, my bad. Uh, it's a plus six, you cunt. Quit playing, you trash ass huntard. Learn to play and don't make people carry your trash ass. Oh my god, he's a warlock. How much do you want to bet he didn't use a health stone? How much do you want to fucking bet? Yeah, this is by the way, this is the this is the nicest WoW player. Yeah, this is yeah, this is it right here. And that's if you actually do a good job. Bro, I actually think Mythic Plus is like the most toxic shit ever. Like it's actually like who the fuck does Mythic Plus? Yeah, it, it's so bad, bro. Like, it's awful. Listen, none of that matters. You don't need to know the mechanics of the dungeon, raid, or world boss that you're fighting. No. And it doesn't matter which game you're playing. Instead, just remember this simple, universal principle of tanking. It's always A someone else's fault. A little known secret that I have grown to understand over years it's of never your craft fault. in normal mode high mall. Oof. You listening? Tanking isn't about knowing what you're doing, okay? It's about not knowing what you're doing, but acting confident when you do it. This is something all I successful tanks learn at some point on their journey. You can have yeah. absolutely no fucking idea what's going on, but if you shout enough and establish dominance early on, you'll be fine. No, when that's true. Like, usually most tanks... See, this is how you have to understand most tanks. Most tanks are, um... <sighs> Th 
they're like 35 to 40 year old managers at Walmart. These people are used to dealing with Trevor's and Tyler's and Phillips that are 17 and 18 year old kids that come to work high and he has to write them up every day. This guy is on a power trip that nobody can take him off of. He is writing people up for doing different things. He's making people clean the bathrooms at Walmart. He's trying to inspect to make sure people aren't stealing hairspray again. Uh, it, this guy is on a power trip and nothing can bring him down. He comes home from work after working 80 hours a week. Okay, He works 80 hours a week and he's salaried. So that means they get to get away with paying him only $32,000 a year. Which, by the way, he's pissed off about that. And so he gets on the World of Warcraft and he's a fucking tank. And guess what happens? He joins a group and he says, nobody can pull before I pull. And he lists out all of his rules. Like he's the middle manager over at Walmart. Walmart. And then he pulls a bunch of mobs. He dies because he doesn't know how to use his cooldowns, kicks the healer out, get a new healer. Same problem happens. He leaves the group. Problem solved. That's your tanking experience and playing MMOs. That's the way it is. Like, I, I swear to God, like every tank is on a power trip. And the tanks that aren't on a power trip don't know what they're doing. Yeah, like they're, they're, they suck. And so, like, yeah, of course you're, you're not on a power trip. You're garbage. You really need to, to the master recording. is the we'll art the recording of the blame this. game. Because, frankly, you could be the best tank in the world, but sometimes things go wrong. People yeah. die, wipes happen. True. Again, it's not about preventing that from happening. It's about knowing how to shift the blame off yourself if it does. I like to follow a simple process when it comes... So, I want to talk about this individual right here. Now, um, everybody knows, we, we all know who this is. So, I found out that based off of the merger, or the acquisition of acquisition, acquisition, fuck, um, Activision Blizzard, guess who's probably not going to go away? Guess who is just probably not going to go, guess who's going to end up sticking around? And by the way, on top of sticking around, yes, you guys know, he's also going to be getting a $500 million bonus. Isn't that something? Isn't that just a little bit of something? Guys, I told you, it's the Bobbyverse. Exactly. Yep, that's another yacht. Dude, how? Because he stacked the deck. What are you, what are you mad for? Like, it's, it's disgusting, honestly. It's Bobby's world, man. You're just living in it. Like, don't you understand that? Like, you actually thought, wasn't this fucking funny last year whenever all this stuff started happening and, you know, people were exposing it at Bobby for all these things. It's like Bobby's in Epstein's black book. Bobby said he was going to kill somebody. Bobby's a racist. Bobby's not paying anybody any money. Bobby didn't care about sexual harassment. And then, damn, somebody needs to get fired for this. Well, who are we going to fire? Well, not Bobby, of course. I mean, why would we do that? Hey, it's, I, yeah, listen, I, here's what I think is going to happen with Bobby. And, and I've got to I've got to say this because people are going to get upset. But I don't I want you to know that this is going to happen ahead of time. So you so, so you don't get upset about this. Right. Yeah, and, and so you're ready for it. Microsoft is going to make a play with Activision Blizzard into the metaverse. They are going to do this. And they know just the man. For the job. Every interview that Bobby has talked about, everything that Bobby has said, he has mentioned the metaverse. Bobby, Bobby will have his own world. He's got 59 years old. He's got to go quick. He's 59. He's got at least 15 more years, like absolute fucking minimum 15 more years good chance it could be 25 more years like this guy could be going until he's 80 years old yeah he's conditioning us yeah he's this guy is not like this is not and, and you've got to remember like it whenever you're talking about a boss what's usually the most dangerous phase of the boss uh it's the last phase yep 
We're, we're get, yeah, this is we're getting into the enrage. This is the final phase. I, I think Bobby is going to head the multiverse. Or sorry, the yeah, Bobby is going to head the Microsoft multiverse, and we will all be living literally in Bobby's world. I, I'm not even kidding. I, I actually think this is going to happen. Blame off yourself if it does. Yeah. I like to follow a simple process when it comes to wipes. If the DPS dies and that causes the wipe, it's blame their fault. the healer. If mechanics wipe the group, blame the DPS. Oh, yeah, okay. And if you die first, blame, blame the, healer. the healer. Yeah. If everyone dies and you're left standing, deliberately use defensive cooldowns to stave off Wasn't your Wasn't this fucking dungeon a little bit fucked up? So, like, the lore for this dungeon, if I remember right, is that these giants were like slaves or something, and then they had a revolt, so they buried them alive. And then the slaves somehow got free again, and so we have to go down and kill them. <laughs> We're the warrior of light, by the way. Yeah, keep that in mind. Own death so that you look harder. I promise you this is absolutely not a dick move, and remember, yeah. blame the healer. Finally, if you cock up a tank mechanic which wipes the group, and there is absolutely no realistic way of passing blame onto the DPS or even... It won't matter because nobody knows what the tank mechanics are. See, it, it won't matter. Nobody knows what they are, so it won't make a difference. The healer... You'd be like, bro! Always remember your trump card. Damn! You can always blame the secret extra member of the group. Lag. That always works. What matters yep. here is that as a tank, you should absolutely not, under any circumstances, accept blame for any failure. Absolutely. Owning your mistakes yeah. is a sign of weakness. And let's That's be honest, true. if you were interested in that, you'd be playing a healer. True. So I'm playing this joke pretty thick lately. I just want you all to remember, this is a pro-healing channel. Everything said in this video is a joke. Respect your healers. I think the Cap. strongest yeah. message <laughs> I would send losers. to you as a fledgling yeah. tank is this. You need to essentially act like a modern politician. Yeah. Take credit for wins which weren't yours. Explain away mistakes as either completely meaningless or the fault of others. And at no time allow yourself to be blamed for anything. And also you have to be completely incompetent. Like you have to know absolutely nothing. Like you, you don't know anything about the fight. I think that people that tank play better the less they know about a fight. Because that way they're confident, you know, like they're ready to take chances. When I say that you're like a modern politician, don't get it twisted. In the government of the raid team, you aren't something shitty like the Minister for Education or Health yeah. or any of that. You're the president. Crap. You are the tank. You are El Presidente, the undisputed dictator of your group. And as El Presidente... You are the one who holds the codes to the nukes. Yep. And at the end of the day, if a few innocent lives are lost when you choose to hit the launch button, well, who cares? That's the way it goes. You're the only one in the room who wasn't expendable to begin with. True. Yeah, fuck them. Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for watching this video. If you're going to laugh out of it, All right, I'd this love to see you stick funny. around by subscribing to the channel. This format of videos is one that I want to do a lot more of on various topics from MMO games, and it is a ton of fun. So the more people here, the merrier. In the meantime, I'll wish you all a very good day, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. This is a good video. I liked it. I didn't know who this guy is. Carbot next. It's two minutes. I'll watch a two-minute video. Yeah, sure. I can watch a two-minute video. Either way, this guy's only got 4,000 subs. Uh, New York is suing Bobby Kotick. Yeah, I'm sure they're suing him for thousands of dollars. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll probably have to settle for over $100,000 with New York. It'll, it'll be a real shame and it'll just be another example. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, he's being sued for hundreds of dollars. Yes, exactly. That'll work. Yeah, he'll. They'll, they'll shut him down. He's being sued for 200 million? Oh, yeah. So he'll probably pay. Um, so he's being sued for 200 million. I think best case scenario, he probably pays five. Yeah. He pays five. Pays five million. And, um, you know, it, it's the way it goes. And uh, then he makes the money back the next day. Yeah. So yeah, he's got he's got to take a, he's got to work a weekend. All right. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, he's got to work a weekend.